Hi everyone, my mom asked that I put together a short video, something that she can use on a daily basis to help her move a bit, move around a bit, uh, just adding some mobility to her joints, a uh, little bit of strengthening here and there, um, strengthening the core as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get class started. Um, my suggestion is you guys use a chair with a backing on it so that it can help that to support the spine to lean back. We're also going to do a little bit of core exercises, some breathing, and definitely a lot of um, movement and mobility. So we're going to start uh, sitting upright position here, starting our crown all the way down towards the hips. We're going to start with the neckline. So we're going to take your chin, tuck it towards the chest, and roll the chin over towards the left shoulder. Slowly open up to look up to the sky and then rolling the chin over towards the right and then rolling it back to center. So we're going to do this four rounds each. So here's two. So you want to take an inhale as you circle upward and then on the exhale you're going to circle downward. This is four. So inhale, circle upward and as you exhale, circle downward. Okay, so once we come to center, we're going to switch sides. So roll over to the right shoulder, take an inhale here, and as you exhale, roll to the left. Roll again, inhale here, and as you exhale, roll it down. Let's do two more. Inhale again, roll it up. Exhale, roll it down. Inhale again, roll it up and exhale, roll it down. Fantastic. Everybody come all the way back up to center. Now go ahead and lift the chin so the chin is neutral. So throughout these movements and exercises, I want you guys to really pay attention to what's happening at the belly. I want you guys to squeeze and draw that navel in and upward. Your spine is nice and long. So notice if you're beginning to slouch here, nice long spine, get nice and tall. Act like you're being dragged and pulled up, uh, right up the scalp upward. So it's nice and tall. So now we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit more, um, a little bit more range of motion for the neckline. Take your right thumb, place it outside the chin, and then you're going to take a turn over towards the left shoulder. Keep your chin upright, and then use your four fingers to grab hold of your shoulder. Take a sip of your inhale here. And as you exhale, with a nudge of that thumb, see if you can just turn your head a little bit more towards the left. Now notice if you're bringing that shoulder back with you. We're not going to, for, for a twist. We're just opening up the neckline here. A couple of breaths. One more breath. And then come all the way back up the center. We're going to switch sides. So take that left thumb, place it outside the chin. As you turn to the right, take those four fingers. See if you can grab hold of your shoulder. Take a sip of air, inhale. And on the exhale again, see if you could turn your cheek a little bit more here. So again, notice the spine, belly is active, spine is long, head is nice and tall. And then come all the way back to center. Let's do that one more time. So right thumb to the chin, turn your peak to the left, use the fingers, cup it around the shoulder. Hold here a couple of breaths. Spine is tall, belly is engaged, breathe. And then come all the way back in center, switch sides. So take that left thumb, start to turn your head, use the fingers, clasp the shoulders, and breathe. And then come all the way back up to center. Fantastic. So now we're going to take the shoulders and shrug them around in circles. So roll around for one, two, three, and four. And then rotate opposite direction, four, three, two, and one. Let's do that again, opposite direction. One, two, three, four, and go the opposite direction. Four, three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and shrug the shoulders up towards the ears again so that we can release the shoulders and come back to neutral. Okay, from here, we're going to protract and retract the shoulder blades on the shoulder. So maybe we take the fingertips, place them right over the thighs, take a sip of air, inhale. And as we exhale, I want you to roll the shoulders forward so you're caving the chest inward. And on the inhale, you're going to peel the shoulders back, lift your chest, look up. So as you exhale, come back to neutral and then curl, come forward. 
And as you inhale, raise up the shoulders, peel the shoulders back, lift the chest. Again, as we exhale, so we curl forward, draw your torso forward, your pecs. And then as we inhale, open up the pecs as you look up. Okay, so exhale again, curl it forward, squeeze here, belly's tight. And as you inhale, go ahead and lift up the chest, look up. Let's do that four more times, you guys. So on the exhale, draw the shoulders forward, curl your spine, tuck your chin. And then on the inhale, lift the chest, look up. So exhale again, curl it forward, draw the pecs inward, tuck the chin. And as we inhale again, curl up, look up. Let's do two more of those, okay? So exhale again, curl it in. And then go ahead and open, open it up. Exhale again, curl, draw shoulders in. And as you inhale, we're gonna curl it up. Okay, meet me back at neutral. So again, get tall, have your scalp, have the crown of your head draw upward here and keep yourself rooted. Now we're going to add a little bit more warm up to the spine. So adding to the shoulders, we're also going to accentuate the curl of the spine. Think of it as curling forward. And as you inhale, now you're going to add that back bend lift up and arch and look up here okay so as you exhale you're going to come to neutral and then curl your spine tuck in your chin the forehead look down and as you inhale you're going to go the opposite direction lift up so there's this arch of the spine so on the exhale again adding the shoulders curl it up now tuck that belly round and on the inhale go the opposite direction open 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 exhale again we're going to round and as we inhale, we're gonna open, open, open. We call this cat cow. So as you roll forward, let all the air out. Here's your cat. And on the inhale, go the opposite direction. Exhale, curl it forward again, squeeze. And as you inhale, go the opposite direction. Give me two more of those, you guys. As you exhale again, round the spine, curl. And then inhale, go ahead and lift open. One more as we exhale again, curl. And as we inhale, let's open. Bring yourself back to neutral, let all the air out, exhale and pause for a moment. Okay, so now we're going to add a little bit of twist at the trunk here. So maybe you take your left arm, left elbow, place it right behind you. We're gonna inhale, draw that right arm up. On the exhale, bring your right palm to the outer left thigh as you start to twist your torso to face towards the left. You want your hips to remain seated, remain nice and square, facing forward here, so we're not taking a twist like this. Nice side set, okay? So come to neutral and twist at the belly. Let's hold here for four breaths. For two. For three, for four. Follow the breath, inhale, let's come back up to neutral. Okay, switch your sides. So take your right elbow, right arm, see if you can twist it and latch onto your seat. Take an inhale, sweep left arm up. And as you exhale, twisting from the belly, we're gonna twist over to the right side, release your palm here. So as we inhale, lengthen and get tall with the spine. And as we exhale, we twist from the belly so you can look over towards the right. Maybe even you look past your right shoulder behind you. We have about three more breaths here. One more breath. And then we come all the way back up to center and come back to neutral. Good. From here, we're going to work around the shoulder. So we've been doing a rush of shrugging here. Now I want you guys to take your arm and extend your arms out. So we're gonna take, I like to grab onto these cereal bowls. You grab onto these bowls and you're gonna turn that right thumb to face towards the floor. As you do this, you're going to take your left thumb and face it towards the sky. So you're just gonna switch the grip here and circle, circle opposite direction with your fingertips, with your wrist with your shoulders. Notice if you're holding tension at the shoulders, soften to the shoulders, let the fingers do the driving here. And then once you're done with maybe four or five rounds, see if you can go a little bit deeper into the twist. So begin to turn the knob a little bit extra so that you roll the shoulders forward 
You do the same with the left shoulder, roll it up. And then go ahead and roll it opposite direction, and then roll it up. Roll it opposite direction, and then roll it up. Roll it opposite direction, and then roll it up. Good, take a moment here, just shake off the arms. Okay, belly's still engaged, spine is still nice and long. Now let's roll around through our wrist. So I start off with my knuckles together. Now it's natural for some of us to shrug the shoulders already. See if you can relax the shoulders, soften them, and then we're gonna circle through this, the wrist. So begin to draw the fingertips towards the chest and out. And then as you reverse, or not reverse, you bring the palms towards one another, then you bring the knuckles together again. Roll it around here. And breathe. So I inhale, and I exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Maybe two more. Breathe. Good. And then shake the energy up. All right. Now, we're going to take your right palm, lift it up towards the sky. Take your left fingertips, wrap them around the hand so you can reach and get tall with that right arm. Take an inhale here. And as we exhale, we're going to take a side bend this time. So reach your arms up and over the head. So it's not so much reaching your arms as far as they can go. You want to take that spine and start to curl it sideways here. Keep pressing firmly down towards the floor. Let your right fingers do the driving here and then look up towards the sky. Let's hold here for four breaths. Keep pressing your right hip to the floor. Give me two more breaths. And sink it down to the left, one more breath. And then come all the way back up. Switching sides. So on the inhale, lift your left arm high to the sky. And then on the exhale, now we take that side bend to the right. So again, be super mindful that we're curling from the spine and not just from the shoulders. Let your left fingers do the driving and turn your head to look up to the sky. Hold here for a good four breaths. One. Two. Three. One more breath and then slowly come all the way back up, okay? So go ahead and shake the energy off here as well. Fantastic. All right, next, let's work with the hips this time. So I wanna go ahead and take my palms and use my palms, right? Either, either place the palms here, right on the thighs, or if you have the reach, I'd grab onto the chair as well. We're just gonna come into a nice little forward folds here, or like a flat back. So we're trying to draw the torso parallel towards the floor. So you want to lengthen through the spine, take a sip of air, inhale. And then keeping your spine long as you exhale, slowly draw the crown maybe towards a diagonal version, pause here. And then slowly as you exhale, lift it. So as you inhale again, just lean forward. And on the exhale, squeeze yourself back up. Okay, so I'd like to inhale, probably draw yourself forward. And on the exhale, Squeeze the belly to lift up. Okay, one more of those. Inhale again, come forward. And on the exhale, go ahead and lift. Now try for four more. See if you can lower the torso even further. Let the chest melt towards the knees. And then come all the way up. So exhale, squeeze. So inhale again, dip it forward. And exhale again, we squeeze. Two more. Inhale again, dip it forward. And exhale, squeeze. One more, you guys. Inhale, dip it forward. And exhale again, we squeeze. Fantastic. Release your grip, shake it off. Okay, let's see if we can fire up the legs, the thighs, okay? So with your legs a good hips width apart here, ground yourselves over towards your chair, okay? So first, Find balance because I want you guys to get grounded here onto that left foot. We're simply going to do some leg lifts here. So as you exhale, go ahead and straighten out the right knee, lift, and then inhale, lower it. Exhale, lift, and inhale, lower it. Exhale, lift, 
and inhale lower it exhale again lift and inhale lower it switching legs so exhale lift left leg and inhale lower exhale lift and inhale lower exhale again lift and inhale lower exhale again lift and inhale lower now we're going to alternate so exhale lift right inhale lower exhale lift left and inhale lower exhale lift right inhale lower exhale lift left and inhale lower two more pairs exhale right inhale lower exhale left inhale lower one more set you guys exhale lift and then lower exhale lift and inhale lower fantastic go ahead and shake the legs off here okay so now we're gonna do a little bit more core we're gonna use your core strength to start lifting your body weight off your chair and then coming all the way back down okay so we're gonna go with our breath here so grab onto your chairs okay because we're going to lift so for the first four sets we're only going to lift the hips off the chair and then come back to seated right away okay so we're just gonna not gonna come all the way to full standing so here we go take a sip of your inhale and as we exhale squeeze the belly push yourself off the chair here and then inhale slowly come back down to seated so exhale lift your hips off the chair and as you inhale slowly come back to seated two more of those inhale again we lift and then exhale actually we inhale to sit exhale again let's lift and then inhale come to seated four more of those or if you're into it come all the way to standing so come all the way up and then inhale come back to your chair so exhale come all the way up and then exhale back to your chair come all the way back up and exhale back or inhale rather to your chair one more so exhale squeeze all the way up and then come all the way back down okay next we're going to try to incorporate some of that mobility through the shoulders some of that um, hinging through the hips and see if we can add a little bit extra here so go ahead and stagger your feet a little bit wider this time we may need a strap or a hand towel for this next uh next exercise so feel free to pause this right now as you grab hold of either a strap or a towel or a, a shirt because we're going to now reach and take a bind with the arms behind us okay so go ahead pause and get whatever you need to once you guys are ready so you take your strap or your shirt and you're going to basically take that and place it behind you Okay, so I'm going to move my chair so you guys have a little bit more, I see a different, different view here. All right, so all I'm doing is I'm going to take my arms and bring it behind me. So notice what's happening with the shoulder. Peel the shoulders back here so that you can grab hold of your strap behind you. So if you don't need the strap, perhaps the idea is to interlace the fingers behind you. But if you're not quite there, then this is where the strap or the shirt comes in handy okay because you just definitely want to open the shoulders so what we're going to do now is slowly hinge forward so we're hinging at the hips you're going to take your strap or your interlaced fingers as you squeeze draw and lift your arms here okay and then we're going to slowly come back so i want to inhale dip forward and then slowly come back we're gonna do two more of those. So again, slowly dip forward and then come all the way back. We're gonna do that one more time. Slowly dip forward and then come all the way back. Now, if that's plenty for you, do that four more times. Everybody else who can come to now a nice little flat back here and then lift the arms as high as you can and let's hold here for four breaths. For two, keep squeezing your belly. Keep drawing the crown forward. Take 
take one more breath. Take a sip of air, everybody. And on the exhale, come all the way up right here. Okay, fantastic. We're gonna go ahead and release your strap, your shirts, whatever it is. And I'm going to move my chair so that I'm facing forward again. All right, next. We're going to take now your right arm, draw it across. Take your left palm, place it by the tricep. Take a sip of air, inhale. And as you exhale, see if you could draw your elbows towards your chin here. And let's hold for four breaths. For two. Remember to hang on to that belly nice and strong, nice and active. And notice the spine is nice and long, neck is neutral. Good, now make for one more breath. See if you can draw the arm even closer towards the neckline. And then we're gonna simply release and shake and move the shoulder around. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing onto the left side. So take that left arm, draw it across. Take your right palm, see if you can nudge that tricep a little bit more. And then we're simply gonna hold here for four breaths. Some of us are challenged by trying to maintain a nice flowy breath. Don't let any of these positions distract you. A couple more breaths here. Keep that belly active. And again, if you have it in you, see if you can press a little bit more for one last breath. And then let's softly release. Okay, you shake that left arm up. Okay, the last thing we're going to do here, take now that right arm, bring it over behind you. So you take that arm, same thing we're doing here is now draw that right arm over towards the left. Keep your chin upright. Keep belly engaged. One more breath. All right, go ahead and come back to neutral, release, and we're gonna switch sides. So take that left arm up and over, take that right palm, grab hold of the tricep, take a sip of your inhale. As you exhale, driving now that left arm up and behind you. Four breaths here. One more breath. Okay, slowly release. Go ahead and round your shoulders one direction. Round the shoulders the opposite direction. Okay, take another gentle twist here. Right palm, right palm to the thigh. Take an inhale, lift the chest. And exhale, see if you can twist a little bit deeper. Open up the shoulders, warm up that spine, warm up the core. See if you can see a little bit more behind your left shoulder. And then come all the way up to center, switch sides. Go ahead and use that right arm for the chair, left palm to the heart or to the thigh, inhale. And exhale, twisting the heart over towards the right. Again, notice if you've created more space to twist a little bit deeper, look beyond your right shoulder. And then let's come all the way back up to center. And then from here, join me for just some breathing, a little bit of meditation. So take a moment, either bring the palms to the heart, tuck the chin or simply let your palms rest onto your thighs. Now would be a good time to maybe perhaps lean to the back of the chair, close the eyes and take a moment here and let's count for five breaths. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Ah. Inhale through the nose, open the mouth, let it go. Ah. Inhale through the nose. Open the mouth. <sighs> Inhale through the nose. Exhale to the mouth. <sighs> One more. Inhale through the nose. And then exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Go ahead and lick your lips. Close the mouth. Blinking the eyes open. Thank you for, so much for watching. I hope this is helpful to you guys.